morning guys so today i am training the girls i've taken my little girl with me and my puppy it should be quite a swift um training session today i think it should take maximum like two hours and a half just because the girls are doing silk presses nothing too major and um yeah it should be quite a swift one has it started raining Ugh. we are going myself and nicolette are going to um, an award show today an award show today so that's going to be interesting so i did my hair last night and i'm going to do my lashes later after the training and i also need to go and do my feet across the road hopefully they've got space for me and um i think that's it and i'm just going to get ready i'm really disappointed because i have been truly just i haven't planned this well for some reason even though i knew that this that it was this week I didn't prepare myself enough because the dress that I wanted is not the dress that I'm wearing tonight. Um, I wanted something that I could wear over and over again for special occasions. And instead, I didn't get that. I wanted something classic, something with a little bow of room. Didn't get that. So now I'm going to have to go to... Um, what am I going to have to do now? I'm going to have to go to the... Um, I went to Zara yesterday in a panic and just picked any dress. Um, and then I'll just accessorize it. I've got a bag. Um, I'll just do that. But I'm disappointed because this was an opportunity to wear something different and just be a little bit more prepared. I, I could have borrowed a dress from by rotation or her. I could have done so many things and I just didn't do them. Um, yeah, because I was just ill prepared. I was very much distracted with other things. So that's a bummer. But that being said, the dress I got is okay. It's not bad. I've, I've just got these lovely flower earrings that I wear. I redid um, my nails this morning and I'm going to do my lashes later and I'm going to do my feet because my feet are rusty. Ah, so, yeah, um, really and truly, I'm supposed to go to the shop as well. So, I'm going to go to the shop after work and um, turn on the electricity. See from my hair, not dry, quite healthy. These bits is what I would say. Do you wear your hair in a ponytail a lot? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. This is what I would call ponytail classic because in the middle is <laughs> there. It's not so much you'd actually look opposite. So when people do normally do a ponytail, it's the front. All here tends to be short because that's where the tension from the hairline is. And then the middle is the bit that has the bit because that's the bit that's covered. That's the bit that's protected, but she's got the opposite. So she's got this bit, but it could just be that she just got to it. So maybe she's a lenient, or it could be like a mental reason, or none at all. Some, you know, hair grows um, at different rates in the hair. Sometimes with the crowns, it's just a hard hair. Yeah. Have you got any mental issues? Any not, hair? No, not that I'm aware of. I did have um, an issue with my hair, but as far as I'm aware of. Yeah, so sometimes your hair will tell you. So it's, this area here, if you see breakage, if you see anything that's like people always have like hair loss for no reason, it could be blood growth related, it could be it could be um, anything like that. So if they don't mind sharing that information, it could help. But a lot of the time, if they are facing their vitamin, so anyone's got that sort of problem, you know, say vitamin D, you can wait to the Because if you go to the bottom, the the vitamin D, folic acid, and um, iron. And then if they're all covered on that, then I would say just take the general health, like multivitamins, yeah. just to help. Because sometimes it's just the way we live, it's just not great for us. So it's <laughs> like, if we're not in our habitat, we're just fighting against it. So sometimes it could just be like the hair is dry. Um, in this instance, I just think she's got split ends. Split ends. So the split ends are just traveling up there. Um, because I can see throughout, this bit is a lot healthier. Um, but the, the crown, it's got a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say rain, it's just more, it's more um, split ends. So she's got split ends here. Mm -hmm. So she just needs to, to, to sort that part out. And it's running through the middle. Mm -hmm. You can see it from here, a little bit here, but she's also got like puffy roots. So sometimes when you blow dry, you might find that all the hair is actually the same length as here, mm -hmm. but here's got loose of loose so it drops more. And this looks more damaged. So you won't be able to say until you blow dry, and then you'll be able to see it properly. So sometimes don't make too much of a hasty decision until you see the hair after it's been washed. When some people take that out of weave and stuff like that, everything looks 
you look at our hair when it needs to be relaxed. It tends to look rubbish. It's taking relaxing day. Like, ah, yeah. My hair's not damaged at all. Yeah. So it's sometimes just hear what the client says mm -hmm. and then watch your like, Okay, cool. I get an idea. You write it down. Um, the products that you're using are a bit too drying for your hair. So mm -hmm. you need to have something that's a bit moisturizing and yeah. stripping your hair. So that might be a reason why you're getting split ends yeah. um, a lot more. So you do need to use things that are a bit more sunny to your hair. They're just a bit harsh. Um, Came back from the training. <laughs> in my last video i did the clusters but i'm just not used to doing them in on camera so i'm going to an award show tonight so i'm going to use the same one i took them off last night one of the reasons why i started using clusters because i'm a lash girl is because i just felt like one i wanted to see my lashes every now and then and i actually like my face like a fresh face um but i'm a lash girl and i used to pull them so what was happening is i was losing my lashes and i finally got them back and they're longer what serum have I? i've been using this serum which i saw on tiktok called glow for it so i put it on every morning and within three months i have seen a great improvement because i had patches i had ball patches in my lashes because of the way i started pulling i don't know if it's stress i don't know what it was but um, I've stopped doing it now and now when I do it with the clusters what happens is it just slides right off rather than pulling out my lashes so whatever it is it's kind of see so normally I go for this natural one I also if I can find it I use oh gosh, um, these um, individual lash clusters what are these called doll doll lash they are amazing and they give you the super lovely fluffy finish but these were eight pounds for a pack no four pounds for a pack and you get all of this if you're someone that uses everything it's great again i only use the 10s and 12s across so it still ends up being worth it for me but even more so if you use all the lengths like i know a lot of people do so if you are one of those people use that if not i've got this on tiktok as well but I am on the hunt for ones that are like this, this, but are all 8, 10s, 11s. And I think I found one that, which I'm going to buy and review once I get it. Anyway, I get one of these. Where's my glue? I get the Bond Seal. And super easy. It takes me three minutes and I'm going to try and do it in front of the camera. And I just push up my lash. I might need a mirror for this. I push up my lash and what I do is I sort of brush the glue at the root of my lash. For this particular lash, I don't need these lashes to last because I'm gonna go super thick today because I'm going out. They might last until Wednesday, they might last until tomorrow, I don't know, it just depends on how I feel. So I kind of push it on my under, like in the under of my lash. Am I making sense? I don't know. Once I've done that, at the end, I'm just gonna push it just under my lashes but not not um on my lash line just under under my lashes otherwise when i blink it gets it really irritates I'm going with the I've cut one of them in half just to break it up a bit just to I don't know blend them together and then I'm going to call I think this is the last one is this the last one? I don't know uh, no it's the second to last one yep and then I put one more Ugh, I don't know if you can see this but can you see I've cut some up here so I'm going to put one more of a cut piece right at the front just so it brings everything together I did it on the other side as well so that it looks full but natural okay so you can either take this and press it together i just press it with my hand 
which I just sanitize in the break of this video. Going to do the same on this side. And then, once I finish that, I'll go on the other side and I'll use the seal. Um, I'm not going to lie, this is too thick for me. But I've done it now. Yeah. On an everyday, like day to day, way too thick. But I've bonded it, I've done it. <laughs> it's done. Um... I normally like a month plan this one at all i was supposed to show you me getting dressed me doing my makeup instead i started talking on the phone with my friend i completely forgot um i'll show you what i'm wearing once i get to the place um but yeah the, the doors close at a specific time and i've run out of time so i'll show you when i get to the bed i am going to take off my fitment and put it in my bag but we gotta count those steps we have to count those steps okay. it was hectic i actually put in the wrong address and ended up at a completely different place i got there at like 22 which was on time only to find out it was a whole 35 minutes away from where i was so now i'm late and it's quarter past eight there was no entry after eight but they let me in life i made it i made it bro i'm running towards you ah, it's too much oh you look cute hey So I'm really honored to be able to support. Thank you so much. 
I finished the award show going home. Um, I have promised myself that next year we're going to enter some. Hold me to my promise, girl. Yes, I'm holding you. I'm so holding I you. think definitely we should go. I've, I've, I've actually gone through applications and then given up at the end. So this is like me saying to myself, the salon and I will contribute next year and enter an award. Because according to the people I was sitting at the table with, I should have entered something or I should enter something, which you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. It was a really good night. Nicolette, what did you think? It was a good night. You the know, awards were awards. long. So many. There were so many. So many there were so many. There were like no, we six, no, 18 categories in one, six categories in another, and then they shouted out like a Hall of Famer almost. Mm -hmm. It was long. But it was good. It's good to be celebrated. And I don't think, apart from HJI, there isn't really another like, big event where you get dressed up for. Mm -hmm. So it's nice. I think this is, is this your first one? Yeah, this is my first one. Yeah, so I thought, little date night with me and Nicolette. Yo. And then get the team out for another one. But I ain't coming to another one of these awards <laughs> unless we've entered and we get free tickets. I'm sorry. So yeah. I stand on business on that, so that's it. Have a good night. I'm off to the shop today. Um, to what am I doing there? Uh, the electric, the electricity has started. The works have started, guys. The work has started. Yes, finally. Yeah, I have to have a conversation with my uh, interior designer today, Simone. I'm coming to you. Um, we're gonna go through the list that she sent me. I have been overwhelmed by the prices of things, but she has let me know there's a lot of things on sale as well. So she's been amazing at finding things like that. I can sit on the computer and look for things and find exactly what I want for a hundred pounds. I'm really good at finding good bargains that are good quality. So I'm gonna get onto that today if I see that she hasn't found anything, but she's done the work for me and it pretty much is on par with the things like we, we see at, uh, Ah, on those kind of things i'm super 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 proud of this i'm going to show you a sneak peek um later you guys can have a little look when i'm having my conversation with her we could just go through what what's what what's this what's that what's what like the bathroom the kitchen blah, 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 blah. and i'll show you the designs then i'm super excited i think the excitement is starting to come in now knowing that like work has actually properly started um so today i'm going to turn on the electricity because as of yet bobby my electrician has been working on that by himself so i don't know what the shop looks like my um my husband was with um them on saturday when they started because he went and got everything whilst i was at work because of course they want to start work on a day where i'm at work when i'm off four days a week but that's fine whatever just get the work started great so now we're in the now we are at this point i think he said running the initial lines is going to take two weeks so he's got various workers coming to do that and then after that it's going to be um, my builder he's going to come with his team of people who are plumbers etc etc they're going to come and they're going to do what they need to do and that's when i should see what i need to see but what i really need to do is i really need to order my flipping my, my floorboards because that's the first thing that they're gonna want to do they're gonna they are going to want to do my floors and i ain't got that <laughs> so i believe simone has told me that she's ordered a sample because once the color the color of the tiles is correct i.e like i hope that the color that we see online is the color that's going to come in because you know there's nothing more stressful than seeing one color and then another color arriving in the mail that's gonna grind my gears and that's the like the number one thing that needs to come so things are happening i'm gonna get onto the phone with edf and then i'm gonna show you the shop the quick little update so you can see the electrician's been in if you're following my little series you will see he's put bulbs so we're gonna have lights across here i've just been on the phone for 45 minutes so i'm a little bit frustrated but he started to do the work so it's super exciting to see 
all the bricka brackers happening. Um, he's dug holes, he's dug holes, he's dug holes. I see lights, I'm happy. Um, yeah, so not much is happening right now. I am on my way to Brixton because I just don't like getting the train because I just think it takes so long. So I'm going to Brixton and it's just a swift swift train to Soho and then I'm gonna meet my one of my best friends she has got tickets to go to a magic show so I'm gonna see a little bit of a little bit of magic oh my bag my bag's handle is gone but this is not my favorite bag anyway so um, once I get to Brixton I'm gonna go there I'm wearing this cute top that I got from Zara and um, really nice actually I should have got a small though I always like don't size myself well when it comes to Zara. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'm going. I'm, I went for a casual outfit, and um, we're gonna go to get something to eat, which is our favorite pastime before the show. Hi, Doesn't matter. Hi, Hi. 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 this cute top from Zara see back here I got it in a size medium thinking that it was gonna come up a little bit tighter but I really like the loose fit um it's got a what, what do we call this cow neck cow neck cow neck yeah and then I've got my favorite jeans from pretty little thing I turned them up a little bit so it's sort of like a baggy cute look I'm not a fashionista but I really like this outfit and I wore my adidas what are the Adidas that I wore today? Some Sambos. That's the one. Okay. I am going to start doing some videos. Feeling really frustrated because it's not working out. Every setting I've tried, it's not working out. I'm this close. Look my finger this close to giving up. Um, but I'm going to do it. I'm nearly done setting up. Just because I haven't filmed in such a long time, I tried to batch them. Because at the moment I'm sharing the office with my hubby, so my setup is always there, the camera's always here. But when it comes to filming, my lights are the second light and my third light are not always up. So this little light here is not always up. So fixing it and then this stupid camera just doesn't want to do what I need it to do. It's really frustrating. Thank you. you want this, a bagel, or do you want rice? I can't eat until I finish this okay, filming. Thank, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Why is it wonky? Why is it wonky? I don't understand. Why is it wonky? That has been the great of my life. Why is the camera wonky if I've straightened it out 10,000 times? This looking wonky is making it look like I've got a drawing that's wonky in the back. But when I look here, it's not wonky. It's completely straight. It's like, what is actually going on? Mm. Topsy turvy. Is it connected? You're taking photos, why? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, where did I say it was going to be? The window. <sighs> Just leave it there. Let's see what's going on there. What's happening? Is that straight now? Absolutely. But am I up there? Precisely. And that's my problem with this stupid thing. Now, I'm eye level. No, it's okay, babe. What we're going to do, I'm just going to, since it's the only way it can work, I'm going to drag this down with me. Hopefully, stay straight. Oh, look. Terry to the rescue. And that's this is why, why do you leave me? Should have been hit the whole time. Look at that. Because she just needs this face. Huh? 
<laughs> I came to give you grades. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm calm. The sugar can't be done. I was, I was getting hectic. I was like, what is happening? Okay, thank you, babe. Cocoa? Cocoa is like, I'm exactly where I need to be. You stay in here? Okay. Perfect. So this is the final look. Um, I've forgotten something. <laughs>